Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to DS inside Ableton. Um, there is probably a couple other ways that you could go about this. Um, but this right here is total control and it is effective. Um, it is a little work though, uh, not too much work. So uh, let's just jump in and get this started. First thing what we're going to want to do is figure out, obviously if you're reaching for a DS or looking to DS, there is some sort of sibilance problem. So in my this little snippet, uh, there is a T and an S, um, and they're pretty dominant, so listen. About to samurai you. Pretty dominant. Um, a lot of people might just reach for an EQ when they don't have a de-esser um, which I just I, I don't believe you should um, because what you're basically doing is you're taking out those frequencies where there isn't that problem um, so you end up kind of ruining the whole sound of the the vocal really and it's just not necessary so what we're gonna do is take and uh, we're going to duplicate whatever track you want solo it out and, about to and what we're going to do is isolate the sibilances using high pass low pass filter Now we're going to take it one step closer, farther, clean this up a little bit. That is literally our problem. So take a listen. Take a listen to this. About to that is what we want to get rid of. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take... You're going to have to go to... A, you could either bump this out bring it back in or just do freeze track flatten and then there you go so now let's take a listen and you can see now all we have left is that when we have no effects on our thing on our track at all which is good and you'll see why um, we're gonna have to take another gate turn the threshold all the way up and the floor all the way down and what this does is it makes sure nothing is it basically makes it so you can have this track active, but it will make no noise no matter what's on it as long no noise will come from before the gate. So let's take a listen. Nothing. On your original track, your source track, take a compressor, side uh, enable side chain, and what you're gonna do is grab the signal from before the gate so set it to your whatever track and then put it to pre effects about and, check, to and check this out and there you go beautifully Yes, that might be a little much. That is after, and this is before. All with Ableton effects, and this is for you guys that don't have uh, third-party plugins and you want to find a really good way to DS. All right. Also, actually, I'll actually add this too. Um, before I end, I just thought about this. If you switch this to expansion mode, this is this makes you enable it enables you to um, un DS over DS of uh, vocals. Uh, say you get them uh, from whoever, whatever the source is. You didn't have control in it's already DS say like in a uh, it's for a remix contest or uh, or uh, someone's featuring on a track 
and or you're producing someone and they record it themselves and they want to mix their own vocals whatever the situation is just switch it to expansion mode and what this does is instead of ducking those sibilances out it'll amplify them so it'll kind of boost them and get them back out there all right this um this helped you in any way or if you guys liked it uh definitely like subscribe uh comment share whatever and do all that great stuff and uh have a great day